the presence burden of taxation is mainly on the taxpayer and the salaried employees who are showing their income correctly. Therefore, post demonetization, there is a legitimate expectation of this class of people to reduce their burden of taxation. Also, an argument is made that if nominal rate of taxation is kept at a lower slab, more people will prefer to come within the tax rate. I, am, I therefore propose to reduce the existing rate of taxation for individual assessees between the income 2.5 lakhs to 5 lakhs to 5% instead of the present rate of 10%. Oh. This would reduce the tax liability of all persons below rupees 5 lakhs income either to zero with a rebate or 50% of their existing liability. In order not to have any duplication of benefit, the existing benefit of rebate available to the same group of beneficiaries being reduced to 2,500 available only if to the assessees with income up to 3.5 lakhs. The combined effect of both these measures will mean that there would be a zero tax liability for a person getting income up to 3 lakh rupees and a tax liability of only 2,500 for people with an income of 3 to 3.5 lakhs. If limit of 1.5 lakhs under Section 80C investment is used fully, tax would be zero for people with an income up to rupees 4.5 lakhs. All other categories of taxpayers in the subsequent brackets will also get a uniform benefit of 12,500 per person. The total amount of tax foregone on this account of measure is therefore 15,500 crores.